What's up guys, Saf here on Super Saf TV and welcome to another episode of Unboxing Time, mystery unboxings of Cool Tech. This is actually episode number 40 and it is a special episode. We've got some really cool products, including some special products from LG who are sponsoring this video. As always, all of the products will be linked down in the description below. Let's get straight to it. So the first product we have are the LG Tone Free Earbuds. Now these are quite unique because they have UV nanotechnology. We'll talk about that in a second. Let's see what we get inside the box. Uh, here's the case. And as well as the earbuds, you do get a USB type A to USB type C cable. You get some paperwork and you get some spare ear tips. Now these are the white versions, so we've got a bit of a glossy case, but there is also a black version available, which has more of a matte finish. Now, when you do open up the case, you can see that there's a light effect. Now this light effect actually indicates the UV nanotechnology. So when the earbuds are inside the cradle and they are on charge, you will get a flash of UVC light. That's gonna kill up to 99.9% .9 of bacteria. And you guys know how important that is, especially in this day and age when everybody is a lot more concerned about hygiene. So that is very, very cool. You can also see the With Meridian logo here. Meridian, of course, known for their clear and spatial audio. So LG have partnered with them here for these earbuds. And let's go ahead and connect these up and test them out. The only thing is I don't currently have a device with me and we do have the LG Velvet, which we'll be unboxing a little bit later, but that's not unboxed as yet. So if you just give me a moment, I'm just gonna quickly jump into the future, grab the LG Velvet and bring it back so we can test it out. Just give me one second. That is because the LG Velvet does have a 3.5 millimeter jack. Just gonna quickly borrow this. Don't tell him. All right, back with the LG Velvet. We'll drop that back off in a little bit. Let's go ahead and test out the connectivity. So we're just gonna open up the cradle and we should see a notification. Yep, there's a notification that's popped up, connected, checking for an update, and there we go. Nice and easy, very quick setup. Let's try these on. Now I've got these on, comfortable fit, and they do stay in my ears. So obviously everybody's ear shapes are different, but these have fitted in quite nicely. And that's because they're encased in a soft medical gray ear gel balanced with the majority of the weight resting in the ear. Just gonna play some music and test them out. Okay. Now because they actually sit inside your ears and they've got a really good seal, you get some really nice noise isolation. But with the LG Tone Free app, you can easily switch on ambient sound if you wanna hear everything else around you. There's also lots of equalizer settings, very easy to use. And you've also got a Find My Earbuds option. So if you do drop your earbuds somewhere, then if you tap this button, it is gonna make a chirping sound. So that way you'll be able to find those very easily too. Now for the battery life, you do have a total of 18 hours on a full charge. The cradle has around 12 hours and the earbuds have around six hours. Fast charging is supported via the USB type C inputs and you also have wireless charging so you can just drop these on a wireless charger and they're going to charge up very conveniently. Now the tone free earbuds are also IPX4 water resistant rated so if you're going to be using these for a workout or something and you're going to be getting a little bit of sweat on them that's also going to be absolutely fine and then you can just drop them back in leave these on charge and then you're gonna be able to kill all of that bacteria as well. And those are the LG Tone Free Earbuds. If you wanna pick these up or find out more, there's gonna be some links down below. Let me just go ahead and drop this LG Velvet back off into the future. The next package is also from LG and it is in this very special velvet box. I've never seen a velvet box before. And inside here, of course, we have the brand new LG Velvet. So as well as the device, there is a little kind of drawer here. How do I open this? Okay, nice. So this is 12 of just 15 that have been sent out. I feel very, very special. So inside here, we've got a couple of cases. We've got a bamboo stylus, as well as the LG dual screen case. So you can use the Velvet with a dual screen, which is pretty cool. Let's check out the velvet. 
Uh, here it is. We've got some of the key features here. Sleek and premium design, easy creation camera, OLED cinematic, full vision display. 20.5 by 9, so it's almost 21 by 9, IP68 water and dust resistant. So as well as the LG Velvet, you do get some paperwork, a SIM card tool, a USB type A to USB type C cable, a fast charger, as well as some 3.5 millimeter earphones. And that is because the LG Velvet does have a 3.5 millimeter jack. Where, where did the, did you guys see that? Where did the device go? What is going on? How did that just come back here? Anyway, anyway, I've probably just been uh, not having enough sleep recently. So let's get back to the device. This has a 6.8 inch P OLED display, full HD plus resolution. Uh, we do have uh, this notch here at the top with the front facing camera. The design is premium. We've got a combination of metal and glass and we've got this really cool looking color here at the back. There's a 48 megapixel main camera, an 8 megapixel wide camera, 5 megapixel depth camera, as well as a 16 megapixel front facing camera. There's an in-display fingerprint scanner, and this is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G chipset, so we do have 5G. Six gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage, and you do have a micro SD card slot, so you can expand the storage on here. 4,300 milliamp hour battery. Serious speakers as well as that 3.5 millimeter jack and it is of course compatible with the LG dual screens. Should be pretty straightforward, just need to slot this in to that USB port and make sure it's clipped in. And there we go. So that's really easy, now you've got the display split across two screens. So. You know, maybe if you're gaming on one screen, you can have the controls on the other screen. Uh, maybe if you're watching a video on one screen, you can be browsing the internet on another screen. It's an interesting concept from LG. There's also pen input support with that bamboo pen, which you can buy separately. And that's the LG Velvet. Let me know what you guys think of it. Moving on, we have quite a few things here from Microsoft. So this is the complete Microsoft Surface Go 2 collection. We've got the Microsoft Surface Go 2. We've got the signature type cover. There is the mobile mouse, there's the pen, as well as the sleeve. Now the Surface Go 2 is a very interesting product. It's kind of like a two-in-one. It uh, is essentially a tablet, but if you do get the keyboard with it, then you're gonna be able to use it pretty much like a laptop. Now the contents of the box, very simple. We've got some uh, paperwork as well as the charger. Let's check out the Surface Go 2. Very light, very compact. So the Surface Go 2 does have a 10.5 inch display. The display size is actually slightly larger compared to the previous generation, but the body size is roughly about the same and that's because we've got smaller bezels. The bezels are actually okay for a tablet because you do need somewhere to hold. Now this starts at around 400 pounds, which is pretty reasonable. But with that, you do get the Intel Pentium Gold processor 4425Y. If you do want more performance, you can get the Intel Core M3 processor version with 128 gigabytes of SSD storage. We've got a 3.5 millimeter jack, a USB type C port. This is 3.1, it's not Thunderbolt 3. Now my favorite thing about uh, Surface products is uh, this uh, kickstand. It's so, so useful because you can have it in many different positions. So you can have it all the way down here. If you're using the pen, maybe taking some notes or do some drawings. And if you're typing with the keyboard, then you can prop it up like this. So very, very flexible. Quickly bringing in the keyboard. This is sold separately, but it connects on very easily and it's a very nice keyboard. You've got a decent amount of travel as well as the trackpad. And realistically speaking, I think if you are going for a Surface Go, uh, the keyboard is kind of like a must have accessory. Five megapixel front facing camera, eight megapixel rear facing camera. And I really do like the cameras on Surface devices, especially for video conferencing. Quality is very, very good. Now, if you are interested in finding out more, I will link to my friend Tom, the Tech Chaps review video. He's covered it all in a lot of detail. That will be in the cards as well as in the description. Next up, we have the Black Shark 3. So this is a gaming device, which I've got upside down. Well, it's kind of symmetrical, so you could have it either way. And it does come with a pretty beefy power brick, and that is because this is a 65 watt hypercharger. It's gonna give you around about a 50% charge in just 12 minutes. 
and a full 100% charge in around 38 minutes. And that is quite impressive because it does have a 4,720 milliamp hour battery. So dual battery, so it's kind of split in two. Also does come with a case and some stickers and SIM card tool. 6.67 inch AMOLED display with a 90 Hertz refresh rate. So it is pretty smooth, but more importantly, it's got a 270 Hertz touch response rate. So Black Shark are saying that's gonna give you the lowest latency around 24 milliseconds. Powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 chipset, of course, you can get up to 12 gigabytes of LPDDR5 RAM, up to 256 gigabytes of UFS 3.0 storage. And now I quite like the symmetrical design at the back like we saw on the box. We've got a triple camera module here, 64 megapixel primary camera, 13 megapixel ultra wide camera, as well as a five megapixel depth camera, stereo speakers, as well as a sandwich liquid cooling system. So. All of the components are kind of sandwiched in layers to keep things as cool as possible. Very interesting gaming phone. Are you somebody that's into gaming? Are you somebody who would be picking up the Black Shark 3? I believe there's also the Black Shark 3 Pro. Let me know. And next we have the Roku Streaming Stick Plus. This is powered by MediaTek. Now a lot of people tend to only associate MediaTek with smartphone chipsets. But MediaTek are actually the number one chipset provider for smart TVs. And over 70% of smart TVs globally are powered by MediaTek. And of course they power this as well as say the Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K. So coming back to the Roku Streaming Stick Plus, 4K, HDR, a bunch of compatible apps here as well. So pretty self-explanatory really. You just have to plug this in to the HDMI port of any regular TV and it's gonna make it a smart TV. You've got all of the cables to connect this on, power it up, as well as the remote, which does have shortcut keys to Netflix, Spotify, Google Play, as well as Rakuten TV. Is that how you say it? Now it's got a quad-core processor, 802.11ac, dual band MIMO wireless. So you do have long range wireless as well as voice search. Thank you MediaTek for sending this over. This is a little bit different for unboxing time. We've got a Philips hair clipper. Uh, I think uh, Philips probably saw uh, me complaining about not having a haircut and getting my brother to cut my hair for me during lockdown. This is definitely gonna help out. A few of the key features here, up to 120 minutes runtime after one hour charging. That's that's very good. So you don't have to be corded all the time, but if you do wanna be corded, you can be corded. Dual cut technology with double sharpened titanium blades. I like titanium. 400 lock in length settings, 0.5 to 42 millimeters with 0.1 millimeter step. So you've got quite a bit of control. Auto boost mode and quick release washable blades. Very nice. And here it is, we've got some different attachments and it looks really, really slick. Now, obviously I can't actually cut my hair in this episode of Unboxing Time, but I am gonna get my brother to give me a haircut soon. So I'll get him to use this. Really, really thoughtful of Philip. So really appreciate that, thank you. Moving on, we have a package from Samsung. Now this is the Samsung Galaxy Book Flex. This was actually sent to me with a standing desk accessory, which was uh, quite a nice touch from Samsung, I must say. I posted on it uh, on my Instagram stories. So, you know, got an exclusive there. If you're not already following me on Instagram, I'm at SuperSav, so make sure you do go ahead and follow me. And this is a very interesting two-in-one laptop. You obviously get the charger, some paperwork. And the version I have here does have a 15.6 inch QLED touchscreen display, but the version available in the UK is just gonna be the 13.3 inch version. We do have a fingerprint scanner, which is gonna allow us to get into the laptop straight away. Slim bezels. Now you can have this powered by up to a 10th gen Intel Core i7 processor with up to 512 gigabytes of SSD storage. It is very, very slim and it's of course got an S Pen. So we can just pop this out of here. And this makes things really interesting because it's a two in one. So you can flip it all the way back on itself. You can also have it completely flat. And this way you're gonna be able to use it in tablet mode. And if you're using the S Pen, then you, know, you can go ahead 
make notes, get creative. The screen does have 600 nits of brightness. We've got a full size keyboard, including a number pad, trackpad, and you can use this trackpad area to charge your smartphone. So you do have wireless power share, which is pretty cool. Three USB type C ports. Two of these are Thunderbolt 3 micro SD card slot. Really cool laptop. Thank you, Samsung. Next up, we've got the Razer Kishi Universal Gaming Controller for Android. Now this is for Android, but uh, there is also a version available for iPhone. Now the contents of the box, very simple. You've got some instructions and then you've got this controller which can expand out and it's got a USB type C port. So you can plug this in to your smartphone. And what that's gonna mean is very low latency. So we've seen other controllers which, uh, you know, work over Bluetooth and there can be a little bit more latency there. This is gonna mean that it's directly connected. Uh, you've got uh, two joysticks here. You've got a D-pad, you've got all of your other controls here. Uh, L1, L2, R1, R2. And there's also a USB type C port here at the bottom and that does have pass-through charging. So if you've got your smartphone connected in here, but you still need some juice, you're gonna be able to plug this in. And my friend Thunder E from Board at Work has actually done a detailed review of this and he spends a lot more time gaming on smartphones than I do. So I'll link to his video down below. But if you are somebody who's serious about uh, smartphone gaming, then I'm sure this is gonna give you a competitive edge. Next product we've got here is the GameSir VX2, Game Switch Gaming Keypad. Okay. This is something that I've not seen before. One combo for all consoles, works with the PS4, Xbox One, Switch, as well as PC. All right, that, that definitely looks really cool. Now this panel is actually made out of aluminum alloy. Wow, okay. Also comes with a mouse, some cables, and this connector. So this connector, you're gonna be able to uh, plug in to your PC, your Xbox, your PlayStation, and then it's gonna be able to wirelessly connect to this uh, keypad as well as the mouse. And this is really cool because you've got, you know, your WASD and all of the controls that you'd normally use on a keyboard. They are mechanical switches. I actually might try this out when I'm playing Warzone next time because uh, I like mechanical keyboards for gaming, but I don't like mechanical keyboards for typing. If I'm like, you know, writing a script or something, uh, I don't like using mechanical keyboards. So this will be quite cool. You know, I can just, when I'm gaming, I can just bring this out, use that to game with the mechanical keyboard and uh, the gaming mouse, and then I can switch back to my regular keyboard later on. Very, very cool. I, I'm gonna try it out and I'll let you know how I get on. All right, in this box we have, all right, this is actually a bunch of stuff from Rode. We've got a little note here from Rode. In this box, you'll find new additions to the Wireless Go range, white versions of the Wireless Go and Lavalier Go, plus two awesome accessories, the Interview Go and the Mag Clip Go. So I've actually personally been using the Rode Wireless Go system for over a year now. It's actually what I've got hooked up right here. If you don't believe me, that's actually going into the Wireless Go, which is going into my camera. And inside here, I have the Smart Lab Plus plugged in, and that's kind of what I go for my audio because it just makes things so much easier. The audio is fed directly into the camera. But now we have a white version for this. So if you're working with somebody that's you know wearing white, then this isn't gonna stand out as much, especially with this uh, lavalier. Now, for those of you guys who are not familiar with the Rode Wireless Go system, you basically have a receiver and a transmitter which has a built-in mic. The receiver has an LCD display. This can easily go onto the hot shoe of your camera and then you can link it up via this cable. And then you have the transmitter portion, which you can either use the built-in mic of, so you can put on one of these wind jammers if you'd like as well. And this you're gonna be able to clip on to somebody's shirt or something. Or you do also have a mic input, so you can then put on a lavalier mic like I have done with my current setup. Both of these do charge via USB type C, so that makes things super easy. And I really, really like this system. It's so compact and easy to use. So if you wanna hear what this sounds like, then you know, you're kind of already listening to it because that is my go-to. But as well as that, you do have the mag clip, which is gonna make it easier for you to kind of clip it on using the magnets on here. 
And then there's the interview Go. So this is the handheld adapter for the wireless Go. Okay, that's really cool. All right, so this is absolute genius. You're gonna be able to clip on the mic element of the Rode Wireless Go kit, put on this shield, and then you're gonna be able to go around wirelessly and interview people. This, this is gonna be so useful when I'm at events and I need to go around interviewing people, maybe if I'm doing a live stream or something. Obviously, I can't do that right now because there are no events, but this is gonna be so, so useful. Thank you, Rode, that is so, so awesome. And that's all we have time for, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Unboxing Time. If you did, then do hit that thumbs up button. Is there anything that you'd like me to cover in more detail? Drop that in the comments below. If you wanna pick up any of the items featured in this video, then they will, of course, be linked down in the description below. And if you wanna see more videos like this going forward and you haven't already, then be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon. That way you won't miss any future coverage. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on Super Saf TV. And I'll see you next time.